Today, new COVID-19 cases remain steady in Georgia, with 664 after several days in a row of upward trends. It's likely there are a few reasons for this, given what we know about the data lags behind. This is the time we expect to see some of the impact of mass protests on COVID cases. We also got a great question from a viewer asking how much testing Georgia is doing and how that might play a role here. So here's how that all breaks down. One month ago, Georgia had completed 260,000 COVID tests. As of Monday, that number had gone up to 625,000. That a 139% increase in the number of tests administered across the state. Another measurement public health officials look at is the rate of positive tests. That means the number of people who have the virus. This is a lot harder to calculate because people who have the virus often take a number of tests. So it's not a perfect science here. But we do know that one month ago, about 14% of people who got the coronavirus test were positive. A month later, that's now down to about 9%. The CDC wants to see that number below 15. Anything above that is likely to start to strain our hospital resources once again. So where are we on all those hospital resources? This is a look at those currently in the hospital. Right now, our line is pretty steady after trending up a bit last week. As cases rise, we'll be keeping a close eye on this to see how severe those cases are.